In this question, we're asked about the Fourier transform of a signal x that consists of two impulses added together, an impulse at t equals 0 and a shifted or a delayed impulse at t equals 3. So our signal will look something like this, an impulse at 0 and a larger impulse at 3. And we want the um, Fourier transform of that. So we know that the Fourier transform of an impulse is simply 1. So that's a known Fourier pair. So therefore, the Fourier transform of a scaled impulse is 3 times 1. So that's easy enough. So that's the Fourier transform of that. What's the Fourier transform of a delayed impulse? So we can use the time shift property. The time shift property means says that if we delay something by, in this case, 3 seconds, then the Fourier transform, so the Fourier transform would normally be 7 times 1 because the Fourier transform of an impulse is 1, and we have a scaling factor of 7, so that's that. Now, because we have the 3 second delay, so we use the time shift property. And it's the time shift property of the Fourier transform. So it means I can multiply by e to the minus i omega 2 because it's i omega t naught, and t naught in this case is, sorry, not 2, 3. So it's this value here that goes into there. So putting those together, because I have a plus sign here, I can use the linearity property. say that the Fourier transform x of omega is equal to 3 plus, and I got the plus from there, 7 times e to the minus i3 omega. And the question, conveniently, is asking for x of 0. So we just need to plug 0 into there. So I can say x of 0 equals 3 plus 7 times e to the 0, which is 10. So that's how you would approach a question like that. You'd look for ways in which you can exploit known pairs and known properties and then just use the numbers that you're given.